Welcome to this video series on SQL Server 2008. Uh, this is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today we will be talking about views, functions, and stored procedures. So as far as uh, database programming is concerned, the important database objects in SQL Server are tables. We already uh, looked at these in one of the other uh, video uh, training sessions. Uh, and the important thing in tables besides uh, the columns and fields is uh, uh, primary and foreign keys. Today we will we will be focusing on views, functions, stored procedures, and triggers. So let's uh, s start this session with views. A view can be thought of as either a virtual table or a stored query. So it's uh, uh, not a physical table but rather a virtual table. It contains rows and columns from one or more tables just like a regular SQL statement. The data in the view is created on the fly when the view is run and uh, it can be called from within a query, a stored procedure or even another view. As far as the advantages of using a view, uh, the views can simplify complex queries. They can uh, be used as a security mechanism by granting permissions on a view and not on the table to hide sensitive information. So that's a very strong point regarding the views that if you want to uh, limit uh, the usage from a table you can create a view on certain columns to uh, sort of hide the uh, information from the user. Another benefit is uh, code reuse and code simplification using uh, complex T-SQL. So let's say if you are writing a select statement between maybe four or five tables using joins and certain conditions. Uh, every time you have to use that, uh, instead of doing that, you can just create one view and then uh, use that instead. Another advantage is to present the users uh, with a table view of data stored in a base table. So the, the, when you create a view, essentially, uh, like I said, it uh, creates a select statement. So when you run a view, the output uh, very much looks like a table and so as far as the user is concerned uh, they are really looking at a table so uh, they won't uh, necessarily need to know that this is a view as opposed to a table. Uh, another advantage of views is that they can be indexed just like tables and this will definitely lead to a performance increase. The one disadvantage of using a view is that they do create a little overhead as you're adding another layer uh, between um, the output and the tables and uh, second disadvantage is that uh, typically they are not updatable uh, and they need uh, restrictions if you are gonna update a view. As far as the demos, um, we are going to be using the AdventureWorks 2008 database which can be uh, downloaded here uh, at this location. I can. Uh, just click on this location real quick to uh, show you what does it look like. We did use this database when we um, talked about uh, Transact SQL. We have a session on that where we just talk about uh, simple select statements, uh, simple T-SQL statements including select, upstair, update, insert, and delete. But here is the website, so uh, it's by CodePlex. You can uh, download different versions of SQL Server sample databases here. Uh, so as for creating a view, there are two methods to create them. One is to use the uh, SSMS, which is a SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, in this one, uh, we will uh, create a view. We essentially, what we have done is we have added two fields to the employee table. One is called Social Security SSN underscore user that has the Social Security information and the second one is a salary column. So the objective is to create a view on this table and show just three fields. The first name, uh, these fields, first name, last name, job title, birth date, and login ID. So um, let's, let's go ahead and uh, do that first. I do have the management studio up and running. I will expand the database tab and then the AdventureWorks 2008 tab and I will uh, just go straight to the views. And you will notice that out of the box there are some views in the sample database and you uh, are free to use those. Uh, as for creating the view, you can just right click on this 
and select new view. And then it will ask you, well, what table do you want to enter? I will go ahead and find the employee table, which is, uh, it's actually in, resources so add this one and then also the person table which I think it's hard to see these things so I'll add this one right here okay so notice that there's already a link between these tables uh, out of the box and uh, I want you to uh, point, the, uh, point your attention to this part. So the nice thing about using the Management Studio is that it is generating the SQL on the fly, which will save you time as opposed to writing that yourself. So the fields that we are interested in are first name, last name. Let me switch to the PowerPoint. Job title, birth date, and login ID. So uh, I think those are all the fields we need at this point. I will go ahead and uh, click on the exclamation mark, which will go ahead and run the data. And notice down here, we actually have the output from our view. Now, when you, uh, if you want to save it, you can just say file, save, and uh, for view, we give it a, um, uh, notation of VW for shorthand and I will just call this employee info so that was it we just created a view if I uh, refresh my views here uh, notice that we have this here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up a new query I'll just do a select star from view employee. And here's another information about SQL Server 2008 that you may not be aware of. It does have IntelliSense, which is a great uh, thing. Uh, it has been around in .NET for a while, but finally we have this in SQL Server 2008, and this will definitely uh, save you a lot of time. I know it will save me. Um, lots of time so I just entered that I'm going to go ahead and execute that and so notice the output down here looks like a table we have the uh, first name last name job title birth date and login now if you were to uh, do this just from the employee table run this uh, procedure I mean run the code notice that we we would have the uh, social security information and salary information so by creating the view you pretty pretty much have eliminated that and you can just give this uh, view to your your users so that was our first uh, demo the second view um, actually uh, involves T-SQL and we already have created another view. We, I will just walk you through that. It is called VW underscore sales underscore products. This basically has information on sales orders and products. So let's switch to um, Enterprise uh, Management Studio. And if you notice on the top 